Hi guys, this is Alex from Be Some Lifestyle. I hope you guys are doing well. I am still a little bit under the weather and today I'm having a little bit of issues um, with my nose, so just bear with me. But I wanted to talk to you today about my top 10 knit patterns that I absolutely love. You guys know I love knits. I love knits and I was gonna do a video on Be Made, but I'm like, you know what? Be made. You can go to Instagram and go check it out. I am going to show you the patterns that I love, that I make all the time. I'm a busy mom. I cook. I clean. I walk the dogs. I'm sewing. I'm moving about. I do gardening. I love wearing knits because they stretch with you and fitting knits is pretty easy compared to a woman. And not just that, I can go to town with two yards of fabric and um talking about fabric knits usually what i use for knits for a lot of my dresses are double brush knits um i usually use double brush knits and keep in mind those tend to be polyester they're great because polyester does not wrinkle on you like a woman would but if of course right now it's the summer it's gonna start getting hot right so polyester is not so great for hot weather but do consider checking out 100 cotton knits there i are out there they are a little bit pricier but they are well worth it just keep in mind that when you are sewing a knit 100% cotton, it's going to shrink on you a lot. You're probably going to use, lose one to two sizes. So you definitely want to keep that in mind when you are sewing with 100% cotton fabric. For a dress especially, you should probably buy additional fabric. And I don't tend to wash my fabric prior to sewing with them, yes. I know that's terrible. I just, guys, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't. Unless it's a denim, then I definitely do. But for knits, I don't tend to do that. Polyester doesn't tend to shrink on me, but a cotton does. And I tend to do a lot of t-shirts and cotton, or I, um, or I know just to sew one or two sizes bigger. I know that sounds terrible, but I'm just gonna be honest. I just sew one or two sizes bigger and I just throw it in the wash and when it comes out, okay, it's a little bit uh, shrunken, fine by me, it fits me even better now. Or um, I do a lot of PJs, nightgowns, 100% cotton, because I just don't like to be hot. So I just make a couple of sizes um, over my usual size and by the time it shrinks fully, it's perfect. So let me show you the top 10 patterns that I love. And I'm actually wearing number one. So number one, it is M8058. Guys, if if there is a pattern, if, if you've ever asked yourself, what is her favorite pattern? This one is it, okay? This one is it. I've used this pattern multiple times. Um, I have just the v-neck dress with three-quarter length sleeves and I've probably made myself this dress three or four times but not just that I hack this pattern I make it into t-shirts I make it into nightgowns I um, I have the largest range of this pattern and I cut it have it cut to I think I have it cut to an XL XL or size 22 and I just shrink or um, use the larger size range, but this pattern has one, two, three, four, five, six different views. Six different views, and it was reissued a couple of years ago. It was another number, but this is it. If you don't have this pattern, get it, okay? Get it, it is awesome. I also have a sew along for this pattern if you want to do the v-neck line crew neck line i think we all know how to do but v-neck is where it's at with this pattern so i love it this is it this is my favorite one another pattern that i absolutely love is m7967 and this pattern actually comes with these 
puffy sleeves with these gathers on the sleeves. I don't care for gathers on the sleeves for a knit. So what I actually do is I borrow the sleeves from this guy, they fit onto this pattern and it fits beautifully. And I actually have three quarter length sleeve dress and I have it with the gathers. See that gathers at the neckline? Gives you a really nice sweetheart neckline with gathers and I usually just use the sleeves from M8058 um, and um, I just make myself a nice little dress and instead of just sewing fully on the sides, I actually do a slit. I keep one of the openings on the side and I put some twill over there and I just have a nice little dress and I looked, um, I look put together, right? But not like I'm wearing pajamas to go out the door. Again, a nice dress, you can wear it with, with a cardigan, you can wear it with sandals. I'm wearing my dress right now with Tom's. So again, just a nice, nice dress and two yards of fabric, that's all you need. Another dress that I love, guys, I also don't want to sew along for this. So um, if you're wondering, huh, how can I do um, a sew along for this dress? I've made a sew along for this dress. It's M7893. It is a great wrap dress. It is really nice. It's very well done. This pattern shows you how to put interfacing on the hem and also on the neckline. Um, great pattern if you are a beginner and you know, want to um, start working with some wrap dresses and fitting and those types of things. Great little dress. I believe it takes a little bit more than two yards of fabric. It takes um, the largest size range, which is 24. It takes two and seven eighths yards of fabric. I think I've done mine with two and a half just because these front um, front pattern pieces are rather large. So another great little pattern. If you don't have this one in your stash, get it. So the next pattern, it's actually an indie pattern, but um, I have made myself this pattern now twice. And it's the Adrian Blouse for Friday Pattern Company. And guys, I have it in a PDF format, but I'm gonna put a picture up it is actually just a top. It's got a scoop neckline. It's got um, it's got oversized sleeves. These sleeves have elastic right at the shoulders. And I usually what I do is I decrease the sides of the sleeves, the size of the sleeves quite a bit, so I can squeeze my size in one and a half yards of fabric. You can make this pattern into a dress. It is a great pattern. Um, I'm hoping that it gets a little bit warmer on the weekend so I can wear my top with my shorts. And it is a nice little pattern. It's a quick sew. Also, the, it's one of the reasons why I downloaded this pattern. It was like 12, 13 pages. I assure you that if you download this pattern, you will use it again and again and again. It is well worth the money, right? It is crazy because none of these patterns are from Butterick. They are all McCall's. They are all beginner patterns, which is one of the reasons why I want to show them to you. Or perhaps there is a sew along online. So if you are a beginner and you are like, I have no clue how the heck to put an elastic on a skirt, you can find these patterns online. They are fairly easy to tackle and do. That's why I love them so much. They don't take a long time to make. So here's another one. This is McCall's 7386. And it is a skirt, a tank top, ding, 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 and a dress. And I've made the shorter skirt with scuba fabric. And if you have half a yard, they usually say a yard of fabric, but come on, we all know. You can make yourself a short knit skirt with half a yard of fabric. Of course, you're probably going to have to put it on the fold. But um, this is a nice little pattern to have. 
if for some reason sometimes you don't know if you want to make um probably if you have like a really busy print this is a great pattern to have because you can always grab a knit half a yard of fabric one yard of fabric and you can make yourself that beautiful long skirt make yourself a tank top with perhaps something like a solid and you can go about your way great little pattern to have in your stash so this is so funny so the next pattern i'm going to show you it is it is pattern m6996 and i'm going to show you the next pattern which is the same cover but i'll show you this one first so this is pattern m 69.96. I love this cardigan. You guys have probably seen me wear it. It is, it has so many puckers all over the place, but I've never wanted to fix it or pitch it because I just love this pattern so much. I wear it probably just about every day. I wake up in my pajamas and my nightgown and I throw this cardigan over just to kind of make coffee, get the kids out the door and whatnot. But this looks beautiful with, you can wear this with shorts. You can wear this with jeans. You can wear this with a skirt if you wanted to. You can wear this with a knit dress under if you want to just dress it up just a little bit. So a great little cardigan. It has another view with almost kind of like a little bit of a peplum on the back. I love this pattern. I love this pattern. And this leads me to my next pattern. And I'm gonna have to put a picture up because I actually found this pattern and it's for skirts, knit skirts. But this pattern, the tissue was actually inside this envelope. And that's how I found that pattern. It has a very close number to end 6666. Hold on. And that's why. I remember when I started making the pattern, I'm like, I'm going to need a little bit more fabric. And next thing you know, I have, um, I have a pattern for a skirt. And if you guys ever have that issue, just call the folks at McCall's Simplicity, email them. They will actually send you the correct pattern. Let me see. So this is, no, hold on. So. Inside this pattern is 69.66, right? 69.66 pattern for the skirt was inside this envelope. And they had sent me the right pattern for this uh, envelope, it, which is 69.96. So if you get this pattern, make sure that you open it at the store and make sure that you have the right tissue. If not, watch out i've seen a couple of people have issues with this pattern so um inside the other one but it's another great little pattern i love the skirt we kind of like cut on an angle it takes a ton of fabric i think it almost takes like three yards of fabric but again another fun pattern to have in your sash and this next pattern, I actually asked you guys if any of you had tried this pattern. I actually took the, just jumped in and bought this pattern. It's J. Lee 2795. It is a zipped up online jacket. I was a little bit apprehensive because of course, McCall's, Butterick, Simplicity, they all have zip up jackets but none of them were aligned i could not find an unlined zip up jacket and i wanted something without a hoodie right i want something that i can wear around the house or if i'm gonna go for a walk just a light jacket i didn't want anything aligned i didn't want anything that took forever so i went ahead and got myself this j lee um J. Lee jacket. It's J. Lee 2795. And I'm going to put a picture up 
of my um, of my jacket. It's super comfortable. I actually made it in a sweatshirt fleece from Style Maker Fabrics, and I remember cutting these pieces from Jay Lee, and I said, uh, "These pieces look really small." I emailed them up. And they said, yes, the pieces look small. Our seam allowance is a quarter of an inch. Oh my God, that's total thrill seekers, a quarter of an inch. But sure enough, they gave you the measurements for the jacket. They, made, they also gave me the measurements for the biceps, right? Because I'm like, are my biceps going to fill in here with a quarter inch um, seam allowance? And they said, yes, sure enough, here are the measurements. And they suggested a size. I, knowing that my jacket was gonna shrink on me, I went two sizes up and I'm glad I did because every time I wash it, it just shrinks a little more, which is fine by me. Nice little pattern, great instructions, just to the point. Um, and it came back in pretty quick, even when I was doing, um, doing some top stitching with my double needle, it came out really quick and it's a really comfortable pattern very well drafted. Talking about athletic, walking, I, I'm here in my basement. This is where my sewing dungeon is at. I also have my workout equipment here. And during the winter time when it was just way too cold for me to go outside for a walk, which I try to do every day, I work out down here and I have this pattern. It's M78. 74 and I have made myself a top that I can work out with this great pattern it is for I would say it is for the confident beginner you have um, some top stitching to do but this is a great pattern to have in your stash you can also make it in minky if um, you've never worked with Mickey, same thing. You're just going to need a zigzag stitch and a uh, ballpoint needle, but great little pattern to have. I believe this also has leggings. I've never made the leggings. I probably should because I know I would wear them, but another great little pattern to have. Or if you like walking outdoors, this is a great pattern. I love it. Again, you can make it with two yards of fabric. So, and I'm going to give you one last pattern. This is Mimi G's Simplicity 9261. And guys, I've actually never made the top for this pattern, but guess what? I use the bottom portion of this pattern the skirt because it has um, side pockets. It has like rounded pockets and I use it all the time with um, M8058. I use the top for M8058 with the V-neck and the sleeves and um, the neck band and then I use the bottom of this pattern and when I just want some pockets to go with my knit dress. So great little pattern. There's a sew along a line that can show you the entire pattern. I think it's done by Brittany J. Jones. She does a great job. I never have worn the top. It's just too much cleavage for what I'm comfortable with. Um, but the bottom is sewing gold. So guys, what knit patterns do you absolutely love that I don't know about? I love knits. Um, I wanted to show you a bunch of pictures of me made and I'm still posting on Instagram, but I felt that I wanted to show you what I, what I love to sew. These are so quick to make. So tell me in the comments below if you have a favorite knit pattern that I need to know about. Even if it's not a, pin, a print, let me know. And I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.